In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your menus when using multiple language setups. So let's get started. When you switch between languages on your website, for example, if I switch to Chinese, you'll notice that the text and the content will change, but the top menu navigation is not currently changing. And this is because WordPress has its own navigation menu setup. So we simply need to create a new navigation for each of our languages. So to do this, we go to the admin area of your WordPress website, we click on appearance, and then we select menus. Now, for here, if we first scroll to the bottom, you can see where it says menu settings, we have lots of different menu options. And you'll find there's one menu, top, middle, and bottom, for each of the languages that you've set up. So as you can see, we have top links, main navigation, and footer links. And next to these three, there's this ENUS, which basically refers to the English language file. Underneath, we have top links, main navigation, footer, ES, which stands for Spanish, FR, which is French, ZH, which is Chinese, etc, etc. So, for us to be able to translate the top menu navigation here, we simply create a new menu for each of the languages that we're using. So, in this example, let's start with the Chinese one. So, we go ahead and create a new navigation. I'll give it a name, so I'll give it Chinese, and we'll just give it top menu. Now before I begin, I'm going to assign it to the Chinese top menu. So we have the top menu, which is this bar right at the top. We have the main navigation, which is the bar underneath. We have the footer navigation, which is the one at the bottom. And the mobile navigation is obviously on the mobile side. So I'm going to start with the Chinese top, which is this top bar right at the top. So I'd scroll down my list. I'd find the Chinese uh, top bar, which is top links, ZH for Chinese. Click, and then click Save Menu. Now I can confirm that it's set for the Chinese navigation. I'm going to go ahead and add a test link. So let's just start with About Us. I click Save. Now if I refresh my language in Chinese, I can see now I have About Us at the top. Now obviously my Chinese is not very good, so I'm just going to copy some Chinese text to show you a bit more simpler. I would click on the page here. And where it says navigation label, I'm simply going to copy and paste or enter the translation for that value. Click save menu, go back to my website, give it a refresh. And you can see now the top menu has been translated. So if I go ahead and change it back to English, we now have the default English. And if I change it back to Chinese, we now have the top menu in Chinese. And it's the same process for each of the menus. So if we want to do the next one, we simply go back to the admin. Again, create new. I'm going to call this Chinese main for the main navigation. Scroll down my list. Find the Chinese main navigation, which is main navigation here. Create menu. Now I can confirm it says main navigation and it's in Chinese. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and add a value. So click add to menu. Open it up to change the, trans to change the navigation label. Click save. Now I go back to my website and give it a refresh. As you can see now, the Chinese has been applied to the menu. So we have the top menu and the main navigation. And it's the same process for each of the navigations. So to translate your website into multiple different languages, you simply create a new menu for each one and set the navigation options as you like. Thank you for watching. 